Skin. What kind of weather and climate is good for it? In which country can you find that kind of weather and climate? What's the best season to do the activity? Hill walking. Dog sledding. Vocabulary. To mush. Husky. Challenge. Trail. Spirit. Ranch. Log lodge. Pist. Bound. Brisk. Pounding. Conifer. Marble. Abundance. Wilderness. Put yourself in a Roman soldier's sandals and follow this archaeological marvel across England's northernmost counties of Northumberland and Cumbria. Hadrian's Wall Pass runs for 84 miles, 135 kilometers, across this World Heritage Site and bisects worlds at moorland and a patchwork of fields under vast skies. In winter, you might want to follow a variety of shorter secular routes. Within easy reach of Wales' capital city, Cardiff, Forest 4 is an expanse of woodland, moorland and meadows in the Brecon Beacons National Park. With pounding waterfalls and many walking routes, the area is an excellent and accessible destination for brisk winter walks. It's an alternative to wilder Snowdonia, which can be challenging in the winter months. There are 78 square kilometers of new forest in southern England, with about 150 miles, 241 kilometers, of car-free track for walking and cycling. You are bound to bump into one or two of the wild new forest ponies. The UK's Forestry Commission provides a variety of guided walks during the winter months throughout the New Forest National Park. Dartmoor in southwest England feels like a proper wilderness, especially in the winter. The Postbridge Audio Walk is a 6 mile, 10 km circular walk that includes far reaching views from Hutland Tor, historical remains from Dartmoor's industrial past, and an impressive waterfall. Download the audio walk from the Dartmoor website. These husky adventure holidays in Yukon, Canada, are challenging but relaxed fun trips. We supply you with the best equipment possible, teach you all the important aspects of mushing, and prepare the trails as good as possible. Dog sledding is a comparable physical activity to cross-country skiing, so you should be in relatively good physical shape and have a good team spirit. You will experience the untouched beauty of the Yukon wilderness while marching the historical trails surrounding the ranch. Each night you will relax by the fire in our two-story log lodge. Don't forget your camera. Depart Saturdays, mid-November to mid-April. This has been an exceptionally good ski season to date for the premier resorts of the United States, with an abundance of cold, dry snow being served up in the leading ski domains right across the country. In Colorado's Summit County, the resort of Breckenridge has a base elevation of nearly 3 meters. Today, 32 of the 34 lifts are running and the resort has a forecast of dry and cold but mostly sunny conditions for the next week. Average daytime highs in the resort will be just minus 7 degrees Celsius, not too low to spoil enjoyment of the excellent sport on offer. There is still great skiing on offer right across Canada with snow depth substantial in all resorts. Whistler, 652 meters in British Columbia, leads the way in terms of snow depths at the major resorts, with a snow base of 220 centimeters on Whistler Mountain. It's the deepest base reported this winter. 
Skiing is good from the top of the Blackcomb Glacier at 2,284 right down to Greekside, and today all 35 lifts are operational. The forecast for the next five days shows more snow for British Columbia, with about 30 cm of powder likely at Whistler. Resort level daytime temperatures in British Columbia will be just below zero, but in Alberta it will be significantly colder, so skiers will need multiple thermal layers to optimize enjoyment of the super dry snow. The climate of Belarus, moderately mild, attracts enthusiasts of active rest. There's no danger of avalanches and the pists are good. In addition, the infrastructure around the ski slopes is perfectly well developed. There are comfortable hotels, restaurants and cafes here. In terms of price and quality, Belarusian ski centers are not inferior to the world's leading ones. Overnight stay with meals, rent of equipment and the cable car service at Silici costs about $50-85. In Belarus, the ski centers operate in Minsk, Minsk, Gomel and Vitebsk regions. Silici, 32 km from Minsk. Logoisk, 30 km from Minsk. Raubichi, 20 km from Minsk. What country have you chosen? Report about the activity in the country to your classmates.